Hi all, and welcome to my ongoing first ever time through the first Siberia God version. We just arrived in Arlbad or Arlbad Spa Resort, and we will be uh, definitely shaking things out. But before we do that, I just want to say that if you are enjoying this playthrough or the channel at large, I would love it if you hit those like and sub buttons. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Out we go. Okay, this doesn't look too shabby. Hello? What do you think you're doing, Kate? I wanted updates. I wanted results. Certainly, Mr. Marson. We all do. Down in the ground, we're doing all we can, but there's no new developments. Kate, I don't think you understand the urgency of this situation. Universal toys are on my back and digging in. I can't hold them off much longer. You're putting the firm in a very tricky situation. I am very sorry, but a slight mishap or two has meant that I've had to modify my mission temporarily. Miss Walker, you're walking on a minefield here. I don't have to underline that this affair is Class A Priority Numero Uno. Hot! I am only too aware of that, Mr. Marson, and believe me, I am doing all I possibly can. But this mission is really no piece of cake. You can have all the cake you want and eat it too when you get home. Next time I call you, I want something concrete, something solid. I want results. You understand? Results. Yes, Mr. Marson. Well, the only consistent thing about all of Kate's calls is that they're all douchebags. Like, she doesn't... Well, her mother is perhaps not a douchebag, even though she's a bit vain. But aside from that, yeah, pretty much a collection of douchebags. Anyway, look at that vista though. That is so beautiful. Okay, so we cannot do anything with that right now. Good morning, sir. Good day to you, ma'am. And welcome to the Hotel Krotsky. I don't expect you've made a reservation, have you? Well, no matter. We've got a few rooms left with the sea view. By far the best on offer. Uh, well, actually I wasn't counting on staying in Arrowbad. I see. It's like that then. Uh, so, what can I do for you? Alright, so we are basically here to find info on either Elena Romansky or Hans Vorober, but I think we'll go through the list as per usual. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer sent by a major American law firm to take care of a delicate inheritance case. Ah, very pleased to meet you, Miss Walker. Felix Matana at your service. I'm the receptionist of this establishment. Between you and me and the brick wall, I often play the role of general manager here, too. Ah, these days the place ain't what it used to be. This hotel is truly incredible, though. It's kind of sumptuous in an old-fashioned way. You should see how sumptuous our suites are. For more than a whole century, they have accommodated some of the world's greats. Would you like to take one? No, it's okay, thank you. I'm not staying. I've got to get away. I'm expected. Right. Well, in that case, I don't see what I can do for you. Don't be like that. We can still talk. I want to meet someone who lives here. That's very inconvenient. None of my customers said they were expecting someone. You can't just turn up like that. We've got a very strict policy. In this day and age, the hotel ain't too open to, um, impromptu visits from any Tom, Dick, or Harry. Uh, please. I absolutely must speak with her. It's very important. If it was that important, all you had to do was ring the hotel. 
Uh, people come here to rest, you see, to get away from the world, which ain't turning so good these days. Uh, don't let me keep you. Good day to you, ma'am. Honestly, if I could have called, I would have called, but I couldn't. So please, can you bend the rules just a little, sir? Ma'am, in this hotel, we don't bend nothing for no one. With respect. All right, then. All right. Sir, I really could use your help. I'm sorry, ma'am, but my helping hand only serves my hotel guests. Well, let me just say that by helping me out, you'd also be helping out one of your very own guests. Ma'am, I'm not to be wound around anyone's little finger, you hear? Fine, then. Could you tell me if a certain Hans Vorlberg has ever been here? On a spa holiday? Uh, yes, yes, that's it. I'm sorry, but our hotel register is strictly confidential. Come on, please, it's not like it's a state secret you're telling me here. And if I just let you consult our register, uh, what am I going to get out of it? Uh, my eternal gratitude? That's just what I was expecting. Adieu, as the French say, madame. Okay, so he... We're going to have to get to those registers somehow. Usually I travel on this fantastic mechanical train. Haven't I seen some kind of a station here? Is it possible to arrive here by train then? Of course it is. What were you suggesting? Uh, if I'm not very much mistaken, that's your air balloon I see getting blown to shreds in the hotel garden. Oh yeah, the airship. That's a bit different. I just borrowed that to make the round-trip journey to Arlbad. Whatever. You better think about getting it off there, and quick. With that contraption on my lawn, some of my clientele might have a relapse. Okay. It's a real shame that there aren't any guests at your hotel. We had our moment of glory, but now it's all in the past. That's all. Doesn't it make you sad? Why should it? Once upon a time I met the greatest of the great. Now I got my memories. Sweet memories. Okay, then. Well, thanks anyway. At your service, ma'am. Is there anything we can... He has some uh, football going on. Yeah, we need him out of this little booth. Okay, so we can now we can now look out. The door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. Attack! 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 Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Anything else we can get from this cleaning cupboard? No. Detergent? Huh. Is he watching the game and banging on the counter? Okay, I think Can we go here though? Because I think we've done everything inside we can do for the moment Oh yeah, this is for the mechanical train I don't need to do that So this is definitely... Is this going to the same place or do we have more? And the platform and... Okay.
there's a big old ship we came through. Okay, let's let's be honest here. The only thing we can probably do is to pour the detergent in this here fountain. Won't that flood the whole thing though? Okay, so that did nothing. Can we make him see that? No, I don't want to close that. Wait, what? Oh, it's a bell. Okay. Sir? You again? You're beginning to really overstep the mark. I warn you, one more and I'm going to... But what the hell's going on over there? Why is it me gets hell to pay when there's already too much work to do? Oh no! How unfortunate! Okay. Let's look and see what we have. Ednor Hotels, Kronsky Hotel. Ednor Hotels, the Ednor Hotel Group is a hotel chain with a long tradition. First Ednor was opened in Paris in 1928. Now we have prestigious hotels located in the historic centers of each European capital. Each establishment is unique and housed in former palaces, mansions and stately homes, restored through the former glory and converted into luxury hotel apartments. Edna hotels are identically located for capital city exploration. You may discover the beauty of a nation's architectural heritage while enjoying our high quality accommodation at first class service. Your total comfort is guaranteed. Your stay in the Edna Hotel will be much more than a stopover. The charm of each location with its peerish atmosphere will leave you with lasting and moving mem memories. Furthermore, our gourmet chefs are on hand to offer guests the finest of traditional cuisine from the host capital. We have 15 3 to 5 star establishments to our name spread throughout Europe. And we have a number there as well. Interesting. Oh, so that was it? Okay. So we got ourselves a number. Okay, let's... Lena Romanski. Uh, do we... Do we have a hands? Oh, we do have a hands Worldberg as well. Interesting. Access card? All right. Resident code. Oh, so we have a uh, Helena Romanski at the top, which has access card. We also have a Helena Romanski further down that says 1270, I think. I have to uh, try and remember that. Yeah. Okay, so what, what does this do? Ah, I think we're done here. Our work here is done. Unless... No, I think we're done here. Very nice. 
That's that's a bath and a half. Okay, we have two direct. Can we look at the water? No. Oh, that's an automaton. First, though, I think maybe this is something. I don't need to use this console. Not yet. Okay, fair enough. Let's talk to this guy. Hello there. Good afternoon, miss. Are you the hotel barman? My name is James, miss. James, the automaton nurse. I am not a barman. I'm sorry. I didn't want to upset you. If you don't mind, miss, I would appreciate it if you would just be a little more rigorous in the terms you employ in the future. Okay. My name is Kate Walker. Pleased to meet you, miss. You are not here for treatment, are you? No, I'm not. I only want to meet Madame Romansky. I would be delighted to serve you tea when Madame returns from her constitutional. I don't want to impose. Maybe your mistress won't want to take tea with me. Madame likes to complain for the sake of it. Believe me, she loves visits. In that case, thanks for the invitation. Nice. I'm looking for Madame Romansky. Do you know where she is? 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Madame Romansky takes her daily constitutional on the pier. Tea is served at 5 o'clock sharp. Is it possible to go see her? As you wish, but do pay attention to the salt wind. It's salty out there. Can you take me to Helena Romansky? Not at this hour, miss. Madam will still be watching the sea at the end of the pier. So? Madam knows perfectly well that during this season I don't go down to the pier. My wheelwork goes dicky under the double corrosive action of the salt and sand winds. Listen, you can hear them sweeping up and down the beach and out to sea. We call it the salt wind here. It'll drive us all crazy one of these days. Come on, just make a little effort. No, I'll stay here and make ready for Madame in case she needs me. She can be so unpredictable, such violent swings of mood. Okay, so all automatons are a bit cranky when it comes to being outside, it seems. Have you ever heard of a Mr. Varlberg? The name is not entirely foreign to me. Really? You know Hans Varlberg? That I cannot say, miss. Madam has forbidden me from talking about him and even mentioning his name. Why? Nostalgia, sadness, medication. Call it what you humans will. We never had this conversation, did we, miss? Madam would be very angry to learn that I know, and now you know as well. Don't worry. Mum's the word. Indeed. All right. Do you know Comcalsgrad? I left my train there with its engineer. You'll never guess what. It's an automaton, just like you. There's even a family resemblance. Firstly, I would say that I do not know Comcalsgrad. Secondly, I have never taken a train. Thirdly, the existence of another automaton with such a degree of finesse as myself appears very unlikely. Madam has always assured me that I am a unique model. A gift from a former admirer. Yeah, but you two really do look alike. And you know, I miss him. Why is he not here with his train, then? I would never allow Madame Romansky to leave on her own. It's a long story, but hopefully I'll see him again soon. Such attachment is very touching, miss. I'm not so sure I need to see Oscar that soon, even though it would be nice to give him back his hands, yeah. Well, I'm going, James. See you later, maybe. It would be a pleasure to see you again, miss. Well, at least he is very polite and stern at the same time. Okay, well, I don't think we can do anything more here. Could we... Yeah, we can continue this way. Why is everything so... Like, why is that share overturn? 
Has there been a rowdy party? Oh no. Um. Oh, it's only. Darn it! That doesn't work. Just as I thought. Okay, so we need something else for whatever this is. I guess it's the locking mechanism for the door out to the pier, maybe? Oh, very nice. Let's go over to this side as well. Is that where we came in from? No, this is the locker's room. Oh, what's this? Kronsky Hotel access card, temporary code 0968. Could that be what we're looking for? Is there anything else in here? You know, I don't think there is. I do like the little seahorsey thing. Okay, let's go here as well. See if we've been everywhere. Well, hi, fellas. What's happening? I'm sorry to disturb you. Yeah, I think I can thrust with my queen through there. Unless... I can see that I'm disturbing you. Uh, hey, no, no, no. Check in two moves. Hmm. Maybe I'll squeeze him with my bishop instead. Nothing like a good squeeze from a bishop. Okay, I wouldn't like to disturb you any longer. Well... Maybe not. No, we need to do something. Oh. Oh, we turned the heat up. I don't think we have anything that we can actually, you know, use that with. Okay, now we're back where we started. Okay, we're back here. We couldn't do anything here right now. What do we have here then? Oh, well, there has been a party from the looks of it. Oh, we can take a crystal glass with us. Crystal dish, okay. And that's, that's kind of it. So if there's not a lot of guests here, how come there's remnants of a big party, unless that party was a long, long time ago? Anyhow, uh, what was the... Oh, 0968. so much better. Okay, that doesn't fill me with 
confidence. Why do we need a gas mask? Is it that salt out here? Okay, I don't think we can go in either direction. Wow, this is a pretty cool landscape though. Not gonna deny that. What has happened to all the water though? Is it low tide or something? Okay, I can see. Is that something we can do anything with? Oh, we could steal it. That's going to work. It looks like something's missing. Can we put that back? Okay, let's leave it that for now. We know there's a bell here. Okay, I don't think we can do much down here. Talk to Helena because it kind of has to be her, right? Madame Romansky? Madame Helena Romansky? Who are you? What do you want? I'm sorry to disturb you, ma'am. My name's Kate Walker. I've come on behalf of Frank Malkovich. Ah, oh, Malkovich, the old son of a gun. Are you one of his relatives? <laughs> Not exactly. He's a good friend of my mother's. He told me you might be here in Arrowbad. I'm American, a lawyer. To what do I owe your visit? You have come so far, it must be important. Indeed it is. I have very delicate and pressing business to attend to. I have just left. Later, my dear, later. I have a slight headache. This hotel mask, they pinch so. I have to go in. Please, could you be so kind as to call my valet? Your valet? Of course. What did we get? Or did we just get another topic? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Madame Romansky? So, is James coming or isn't he? Don't tell me you haven't called him yet. Oh, my poor head. Please, ring for my valet. We will continue this conversation inside, hmm? Okay. So that's... that's how it's gonna be. Oh! You! Back here again! How dare you show your damn face round here! Get out of here immediately! Please. I absolutely must find... Miss Romansky! Oh, yes! I'm sorry, she managed to lie her way in here. Don't matter how vigilant you are, there's always one. Uh, but it won't happen again. She'll be out on her ear before you can say, uh... I hope she hasn't upset you too much. Oh, Felix. Stop being such a grizzly bear. This woman is my guest. She's your guest? But that ain't possible. This scandal didn't even know you three hours ago. Be quiet, Felix, before you offend someone. Miss Romansky, please. This maniac turned up earlier and tried to wreck the fountain. If it wasn't for the... I said enough, Felix. Please treat Miss Walker with the respect befitting one of my friends. Don't touch and don't swear. Have I made myself clear, Mr. Smetana? Yes, yes, crystal clear, Madam Romansky. Please do accept my humble apologies. Very good, Felix. You may go now. Okay, so I kind of like Elena Romansky, that's for sure. And we'll get that valley out here, but that'll have to wait until 
the next part. Thank you for following along in my very first Siberia adventure. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. I would love if you hit those like and subscribe buttons and if I saw you again in the next part. But for now, it is time to say bye bye.